Hello, Karen. I almost forget to show you the earthquake that I predict today because I was busy with some other observations according to the future earthquakes. So I will show you this today earthquake in uh, Ocho Chipapas, Mexico, which was uh, 6.0. And I am going to show you something in the way that I never show you before because I'm with this uh, mode of showing with this way of showing you this you will see how correct is my way of locating the earthquake so let me show you this is the uh, Chipapas Mexico here, this is the epicenter of the earthquake, okay, here. Now, all these white labels here, there are all the comets. You see how many comets is around? Well, only one comet from all these comets here passing through the epicenter of Chipapas. I'm not going to show you which one from this is the responsible uh, on the on the first i'm going to show you mostly the whole of this whole of this uh, orbits of these comets and you will see that neither one is even close to this uh, close to this epicenter so uh, let me uh, show you one by one. So before we start with this uh, Panzer here XB8, which is uh, very known as a comet that causes earthquakes. So let me just a moment. So the orbit is here. As you can see, this orbit is far away from the epicenter. So this comet is not responsible for this earthquake now we're going to try this one as you can see neither this one it's close to this epicenter so we will dismiss this two comets as not responsible for the earthquake so now let's go to the next one let's start with the gibbs p 2007 q2 so orbit as you can see the orbit is passing straight down this one is not responsible for the earthquake so you will see how what it's what kind of job is to find the right comet because there's a many of it orbit of this one garant no it's far away because epicenter is here let's go to the next one this is the panstar g4 Let's try Panzer G4. Orbit. No, it's not because orbit is stuck to the moon path. So we dismiss this too. So let's go to the Panzer T X1. You can almost uh, you can see also the comet here as a picture. Orbit. No, it's not. It's passing here. Our epicenter is here. So neither one of these comets is responsible. So let's go to the jeeps. Try jeeps. No, it's far away. Orbit is, you see, here is the orbit and uh, our epicenter is here. This is not the comet that is responsible. Let's try linear. Let's try linear G2B. Linear G2B. I'm sorry, I have to. It's very difficult to, to find this comet i have to blow it a bit up like this yes now let's try now i can hit the so this is where this i can i can try with this one yes so as you can see this one is also far away from the epicenter uh, there's no way that uh, this is the future this is the future here the present the orbit is moving like this to the chipas okay chipapa sorry so this is the linear, I will dismiss linear as a suspect comet. Now, this is Jarnak here. 
let's try Jarnak. Orbit, as you can see, also the orbit of Jarnak is far away from the epicenter, which is here. So we will dismiss this too. Let's see Panstar C 2012 F3. Click on orbit and you can see the orbit is going away, far away from the epicenter, which is here. Well, now we are very close to the rest of this uh, comet that is rest here. And this one is Boatini. We try, try the orbit, but you can see Boatini orbit is here, far away from the epicenter which is here. So I'm not going to I'm not going to hold you in a in a, a doubt and I will show you which comet caused the earthquake. It's this one. Watch now. Orbit bang now look at where is the orbit this is the past this is the past here so let's go back and see when the uh, uh, orbit when the comet hit the epicenter just a moment let's say 30 back so 1451 was the earthquake and this one passed through the epicenter at 14 Bang! This is the moment. 14.43, that means 7, uh, 8 minutes. It takes in 8 minutes until the the charge of the plasma hit the ground in Chipapas, Mexico. So let me show you what is the distance between the pan star, which is here, from the observer. How far is it? So this is uh, 5 point two astronomical units so this is the normal normal uh, normal distance for the for the comet which are causing the earthquakes and now i'm going to show you something else now uh, as you can see this is the epicenter of the earthquake now let me show you something else i will squeeze this epicenter here and i will show you what is below this epicenter and this is somewhere here just a moment i can squeeze more here it is here is the moon you see that here is the moon now moon the path of the moon going up 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 here going up here and here is the 90 degree angle cutting the orbit of the moon and this is the this is our this is our this is our pan star which caused the earthquake it's here i'm sorry pan star a2 a1 sorry uh just a moment, where is it? Uh, Panther A1, it's... Uh, oh, I'm sorry, just a moment. I, I got it now and... Now it's going, where, where is it? Uh, A1, it's here is the orbit, so we have to find the orbit and squeeze a bit this. Oh, shit. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Chipapas, Mexico. It's here, and here is the here is the panther. Just a moment, I have to blow up to find the comet because comet it's here. It is here. It is now. I will select. And start. I will remove all other comments because we don't need them. And this is the pure situation. So the pan star cut in the orbit of the moon under 19 degrees, as you can see. And moon is below the Chiapas Mexico, a bit, a bit on the right side. This is why 
this is not so strong earthquake because if I squeeze this I will show you that this triangle which is here it goes like this so this is the pound star this is the Chipas, Chipapas Mexico and this is the moon and this is the Panzer moon relation and this one from here to here is the difference between the strongest earthquake and the uh, and the uh, six Richter scale earthquake everything is very clear thank you very much for your attention and stay tuned